Good evening. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about 5P 2.3. So we're talking about summarizing the properties of original materials and the new materials form to demonstrate that a change has occurred. So our standard talks about that the verb here is not to identify what kind of change it is, but it's to summarize before and after. How do we know that something has changed and has it changed? Um, all we have to do is talk about them. It says students need to make qualitative and quantitative observations and data records um, to create a before and after relationship. So we're going to talk about that today. Um, we are going to be doing something very fancy with, with things like vinegar and baking soda. Um, we have borrowed vinegar from the SDC Ecosystems Kit, so if you don't have any, go look there. If you don't have any in that one, means you haven't gotten a refurb in a couple years. Um, we have baking soda. I took this baking soda from the refrigerator in my house. Don't tell my wife. And we've got a bottle, and we're going to get quantitative and qualitative. We're going to do some weighing of what our materials are, as well as describing the qualities of them. So, let's get started. Um, I've got a small water bottle. I have poured vinegar into the bottom, and it is a, um, so as we're describing the qualities of it, we're going to talk about what state of matter it is. So I've got a liquid, it's flowing in there. Um, it is clear, it looks like water, um, but if we talk about the, the scent of it, oh, it definitely does not smell like water. So I've got vinegar in here. Uh, vinegar and water, we're going to go ahead and, and get, a, get a, a weight on that one. So having my kids doing the qualitative and quantitative, so we talked about what it was that was there. We've got 91 and 42 hundredths of a gram of vinegar plus bottle. Um, if you wanted to, I don't have anything, I'll just make sure, but I don't have anything spill out. 91 and 42 hundredths, we are good. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. So we've got that there, we're ready to go. Um, next we're gonna take our white powdery solid and I'm just going to take what I've taken as a funnel and taken a balloon and stuck on the bottom of it so that I can pour into here. I'm going to take um, a large teaspoon teaspoon or a Wendy spoon for your, for your uh, frosty um, and I put it in there and it helps us to get it down into the bottom of this balloon. Um, oh, as I was saying before I spilled you, if you want to measure your volume of the vinegar that you want, getting a, a graduated cylinder that you want to put that in, figure out how much you put in there, go right ahead. It's another, it's another quali quantitative measure that you can have your kids to do. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to, um, now that I've got that in there, I'm going to twist it down low because what I want to have happen is I want all that baking soda to stay in there. But that's going to allow me to, actually I'm going to put it on first, letting it hang down to the side. And I'm going to put it over the top of my bottle, getting it down a little bit farther than just on the edge because there's going to be some pressure in there. Okay, and so now I've got it all together. Let's go ahead and get a mass on it before we have an interaction. Or weight, excuse me. We're at 107 and 93 hundredths of grams uh, for that right there. So what I want to do, I'm going to put this on this tray just in case we have uh, an overflow. Sometimes happens with these kinds of interactions. So with kids, we're looking at, so let's let them figure it out. I've got a solid, I've got a liquid. We're putting them together. The last one turned red. Let's see what's going to happen here. Make your kids predict. Get them writing this in their notebooks. Put them to work. Okay, so I've got this. And we're going to turn it up, see what happens. So now I have had an interaction. I have a solid and a liquid came together and I created bubbles. I inflated my balloon. So I've created a gas. My liquid is now a milky white. Um, if you look at the powder around on the table that's in front of it, I have lost a little bit. So do I have a true closed system? I don't think so. I think I've lost some of it. Put this on here and see if we can come up with what our total is. We are at 105 and 89 hundredths and 88 hundredths. So we've lost about four grams in this. Do we have four grams in powder that's here? We have four grams in, in, in gas that has escaped. So I've added a solid and a liquid and we have created a gas. 
we need to describe what these things are and what we saw before and after. That's what our standard asks for us to do. We do not need to identify if this was a, if this was a chemical or a physical change. The word chemical has never been mentioned in elementary. We'll talk more about that together and take some questions on that one there. So this is what we've got happening here. Where there has been an interaction. We have seen it happen. Um, this to me is one I look forward to every year to do. So we'll talk more about this in the live session. Be good to yourself and each other.